Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and I'm back doing reviews. What do you know? Um, and I'm going to start out with um, an Ibanez guitar, guitar. I haven't done any Ibanez guitars, actually, so far. So this would be exciting. Uh, it's an Ibanez uh, GRG150. And uh, the RG is, of course, the important part here, because this is, well, yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's an Ibanez RG, but it's the cheap version. So it's in the Gaio series. That's the G and the GRG. Um, besides that, well, um, yeah, as I said, a cheap version made in Indonesia. Um, the RG is of course a copy or my, uh, it's the same model as the gem the one that uh, Steve Vai designed and that was kind of a radical guitar when it came in the late 80s um, he was basically playing Strat guitars Charvel guitars um, and wanted something different so he made crazy things like a 24 fret fretboard um, this uh, humbucking uh, single call humbucking configuration wasn't really that usual especially the way he does it uh, which is kept in this guitar so I'll talk about that when you get to electronics um, yeah and this became really popular and Ibanez went from being a, a well it was rather large but then it went to being a giant company actually uh, has been since um, okay Let's talk about uh, what it's made of. Uh, we have a maple fret, uh, sorry, a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard, bound fretboard. Uh, the neck is uh, slightly thicker than the RG series necks, but since they are wafer thin, this is still very a very thin neck. Um, the fretboard is really flat. Uh, it's 400 millimeters and that's like 16 inches. So it's flat as a highway. Um, proper tuners. Uh, that's actually something Ibanez is rather known for. Having proper tuners in their guitars. We have a basswood body and basswood is what Ibanez is using in almost all their um, standard style guitars. Uh, this is of course a strap copy basically mm. but yeah of course there are differences in basswood I mean there are of course um, exclusive basswood and cheap ones so um, this is probably the cheap version um, yeah flat black finish looks really nice uh, I picked the yellow one there's one that is in like silver or yeah metal but this looks bright and shiny, so why not? Uh, as I said, humbucker thing called humbucker, uh, a version of a traditional trem. It's two point and it's like basically like a Floyd Rose trem because uh, you can't adjust the height of the individual saddles and it's two point, but there's no locking knot and you don't lock the strings here either. So it's a very solid unit. I like it. Uh, master volume, master tone, and a uh, five-way switch. And that's it. Uh, the neck joint, I should point out, is really nice on this one. No problem reaching the high frets. And that's not what it looked like when they started making this. Even the gems. Okay, um, yeah, materials and hardware. Gets an eight. Uh, build quality and durability. This is, uh, as I said, a, a really cheap version. Uh, and uh, with a cheap version, you should expect that bad. It should be, sh I don't know, <laughs> bad or, or, I don't know, N not made with the same quality. But again, this is Indonesia. I talked about Indonesia before, and they, they are surprising us. Um, because this is really, really well made. Um, if it said, uh, again, if it said something else on the headstock, if it said like that it was a regular RG, I don't know, 
who would tell and it's so well made um, the finish is perfect the neck is perfect the uh, fret sense the frets um, the way it's put together it's amazing for the price it's amazing it would be amazing for even higher price actually um so yeah build quality durability on nine the part seems very durable as well i should point out the tram seems very very solid it's good tuners uh, well put together all in all yeah playability um yeah the fret uh, uh the fretboard is really flat as i said and um the neck is rather slim and but it's rather wider that's how they compensate it basically uh, it's wider than a regular strat for instance uh but it's i mean this is made to be played fast and it's it sure feels i mean there's nothing hindering you at all so i give it an eight for playability Electronics. Well, they have po power sound pickups. Uh, if you remember my review of a cheap Quart guitar, they have power sound pickups as well. And I think Quart are making these guitars, by the way. Um, no problem. The volume and tone knobs, oh, they both make strange, strange sounds. Uh, and that's, I don't know, maybe it will go away, but it makes it seem rather cheap so I give it a 7 for electronics okay let's uh, try some sounds then first we have a clean sound <laughs> Yeah, the 5 way switch works in the way that it's full up humbucker in the outer positions, in the middle it's just a single coil, and then in the in between it's a split coil from each of the humbuckers. So in the here it's the second position, you have these two coils, and in the third you have these two. That's something that's the same on the gem guitars actually. Okay, let's do some lead sounds then.
Okay, that was it. Uh, the sounds. Um, yeah, it sounds really good. I really like these pickups. Uh, and for this price, and for not being like, there's no, they are no name pickups. I gave it an eight. Um, yeah, it's a rock guitar. I don't know if you noticed, by the way, all the guitars hanging around me. It's PRS guitars. I'm not <laughs> endorsed by them in any way. And the big boss sign here. I'm trying to cover it, but yeah. Um, okay, so all in all, it gets 8.0. And that's a good number. And this is an amazing guitar. Uh, and it's absurdly cheap. Um, yeah, you couldn't Im imagine guitars like this like 15 years ago. Uh, it's so well made. It's so playable. It sounds good. It seems very reliable and I don't know if you don't like the yellow maybe that's the only thing that's wrong with it um, yeah I'm amazed Ibanez I'm really amazed okay see you soon